Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS reminds taxpayers of upcoming filing extension deadline. Free file remains open until November 17th. Oh, here we go again with the IRS threatening us with their zombie deadline goon. Well, go ahead and send your deadline, IRS, because I happen to have a live line to meet up with your deadline. A live line of electric fence all around my stuff. And when your deadline goon runs into my live line, your deadline will be a crispy deadline goon. So crispy people will stop calling it dead at all. Instead of a deadline, it'll just be called crispy line. What's that? The iris zombie deadline can now eat your brains and take your money over the internet. Okay, I'll pay. I'll pay. But first a joke. At the last audit, the IRS told me I was full of crap. Do I want? You're so full of it, you don't need those things. Wait. And I was like, yeah, well, two hours ago I had a big lunch, okay? Who said that? Oh, Stewie. You are just horrible. So, I'm probably more full of crap than usual. I mean, excuse me. If that bothers you, you could just come back later. <laughs> I just don't have, to, I don't have the keys. So maybe you can come back later? Get out of the way. I'm sure the crap will have passed through by then, resulting in me being less full of it. Today, I will be a beautiful butterfly, and then everything will be better. Honestly, can you believe this? The iris yelling at you for having a big lunch? I mean, that that's fat shaming, man. In any case, Principal Shepard needs to be held accountable for fat shaming my son. No matter how fat or shameful he may be. And I'm not even really that fat, to be honest. So like a few years ago, I wouldn't have even thought to take offense to the Iris's cruel fat shaming comment. If your son had been shot, all I could offer is thoughts and prayers. But this calls for a far stronger response. But recently, I've learned that I sometimes feel fat. Come on, fat ass. No more fat shaming cap. Let's start a new chapter. And that's like the same thing as being fat, man. So I'm totally justified, obligated even, to take offense to the IRS's cruel fat-shaming comments. There's still the agenda item of you fat-shaming Chris Griffin. I think we can table that. As long as it's a pretty strong table. <laughs> Silence is violence, dang it. You gotta speak out when abuse like this is happening. And like, you're fat, IRS. You're, f you're the fat one. And that's not fat-shaming because, like, they totally did it first. That's how it works. They started it. Look, those guys were rude, arrogant, narrow-minded, class A jerks. IR 2022-179, October 14th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service reminds taxpayers today that those who requested an extension of time to file their 2021 income tax return, that the deadline is Monday, October 17th. Let me repeat that. Monday, October 17th. IRS free file remains open until November 17th for those who still need to file their 2021 tax returns. So that's kind of nice that they, they've extended the capacity to be able to use the software. But note that the deadline in order to avoid the penalties and interest is October 17th. So just to recap this, we're talking about 2021 tax returns. 2021 tax returns usually due by, say, April 15th of 2022. That deadline typically has the filing requirement as well as any kind of payment requirement that might be due at that point in time. Then you could extend the time that you need to file to October 17th, although that doesn't necessarily or doesn't extend the payment requirement, you would still need to pay in order to be avoiding the penalties and interest. So there's two things that we're basically talking about. Now, of course, the October 17th deadline is coming up. So you want to be able to file. Why? Because you don't want to get hit with the sticks of penalties and interest. That's our goal. That's what we do here. That's what we try to accomplish. And however, it used to be that the free file software, which is third party software, that the IRS kind of made a deal with somehow that uh, that they're going to give their software for free uh, if your income is below a certain threshold was due they, they kind of had them strong held until April 17th and then you wouldn't have access to that software anymore but now they've extended that 
So you still want to get the tax return done by October 17th, but if you don't for whatever reason, you should still have access possibly to the free file software until November 17th. That's how I'm interpreting the tax news here. Now note that even low income tax returns have become a lot more complex over the last couple of years in particular because the tax code has been changing and they've made extensive changes in the low income or the, the refundable credit type uh, of, of area. Those being credits that can still be gotten even if your income goes below a certain threshold. Therefore, I would highly recommend at least using some kind of software to help you to fill out the tax return because low income tax returns are not as they once were easy right they're kind of difficult these days with all this stuff going on around them and therefore the tax software can be helpful so this includes those qualifying for the child tax credit recovery rebate credit or earn income tax credit there's links to those items here but haven't yet filed a 2021 tax return to claim them irs free file is a public private partnership between the irs tax preparation software industry leaders who provide their brand name products for free. So it's a partnership where the IRS thudded the, the private entrepreneur companies over the head and said, you know, make this, do this, or we're not gonna give you the information to do your tax software next year or whatever. No, I don't know, I'm just imagining. But in any case, you got the software. So you wanna take advantage of the software there, use the software. So there are eight free file products available in English and two in Spanish. IRS free file provides two ways for taxpayers to prepare and file their 2021 federal income tax return online for free. You got the IRS partner site. Traditional IRS free file provides free online tax preparation and filing options on IRS partner sites. Individual taxpayers whose adjusted gross income AGI is $73,000 or less qualify for any IRS free file partner offers. Free file lets individuals electronically prepare and file their federal income tax online using guided tax preparation. So the software should have an interview kind of process, making it a little bit easier, hopefully, to do the data input, making it a little bit better to answer some of the questions that you most likely will have, considering the changes over the tax code and the complexity of the tax code, in particular, with relation to the lower income threshold tax returns. Then you got the free file fillable forms. For taxpayers whose AGI is greater than 73,000, there's the free file fillable forms option. Now, I think they're kind of required to, they, they feel like obligated to tell us about the free file fillable form so that they can say there's a free filing option for everyone. But I wouldn't really recommend the free file fillable forms if your income is over 73,000 in general, because usually as your income gets higher, your tax needs become a little bit more complex. That's a little bit more skewed these days because the low income tax returns, as I said, are getting more complex, the middle income probably the easiest tax returns, I guess. And then when your income gets higher, then you not only have tax preparation needs, but you're also going to be needing to, to maybe do tax planning type of stuff. And that's when you might want to be talking to a tax professional, you know, more and more tax professional might be beneficial, provide more benefit, possibly not something like just a one time, like an h &R block, possibly you're looking for someone that's going to give you tax advice beyond just the preparation, the immediate need of the tax return. So the free file fillable forms are kind of like doing the tax return by hand. You don't have the software to, to give you that kind of interview process, which is one of the major benefits of the software. So you could do that, but it's probably not the best option, especially if your income is getting higher and your needs are getting greater for uh, tax complexity and for just advice on tax planning. So it provides electronic federal tax forms that can be filled out and filed online for free. To use this option, taxpayers should know how to prepare their own tax return. Again, no, but pretty much nobody prepares tax returns by hand these days. If they do a lot of them, they're gonna, you know, if you go to someone that knows how to do tax returns like a tax professional they know how to do tax returns and they know to use software <laughs> pretty much they're going to be using software right so pretty much no one does it by hand i mean you could it's i mean but you're probably going to want to use software in any case always start at irs.gov there's a link to that here from the home page select file your taxes for free there's a link to that here use the irs free file lookup tool to narrow the list of providers or the browse all offers page 
to see all list of providers. Follow the link to choose IRS free file provider website. Taxpayers who requested the six month filing extension should complete their tax returns and file on or before October 17th deadline. The IRS free file program gives eligible taxpayers an opportunity to file their taxes and claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit, their full child tax credit, the earned income tax credit, or other valuable credits for which they qualify. The IRS reminds taxpayers that the fastest way to get a tax refund is to file electronically and choose direct deposit. Prior year returns can only be filed electronically by registering tax preparers. There's a link to that here, registered tax preparers uh, for the two previous tax years. Otherwise, taxpayers must print, sign, and mail prior year returns. The IRS uh, Directory of Federal Tax Return Preparers with Credentials and Select Qualifications list qualified local preparers. There's a link to that here. So free file to stay open until November 17th to help refund filers eligible for stimulus child tax credit EITC. So I think the IRS from a political standpoint has kind of an in incentive to, to say, hey, look, we're shooting out as much money as possible. You know, we're the good guys over here. We're, and so they're trying, they're actually trying to, to give out as much of these money for these programs as they can, I believe, kind of to, to boost their stats, but that's just, my speculation on it so in any case what they did was they they took the the software that usually was going to be not available after october extended it through november 17th so you still want to file by october to not hit get hit with penalties and interest but the iris is really trying to give out as much money money as they can and and if you qualify for these things i would say that you would want to take advantage of them because remember you will be dealing with the consequences inflation tax basically it's a tax inflation so you're going to be paying that you might as well be getting the good stuff the good the, you know the the money that you know kind of was part of the cause of the inflation tax so in any case starting this week the internal revenue service is sending letters to more than 9 million individuals and families who appear to qualify for a variety of key tax benefits but did not claim them by filing a 2021 federal income tax return. Many in this group may be eligible to claim some or all of the 2021 recovery rebate credit, the child tax credit, the earned income tax credit, and other tax credits depending on their personal and family situation. The special reminder letters, which will be arriving in mailboxes over the next few weeks, are being sent to people who appear to qualify for the child tax credit, recovery rebate credit, or earned income tax credit, but haven't yet filed a 2021 return to claim them. The letter, printed in both English and Spanish, provides a brief overview of each of these three credits. These and other tax benefits were expanded under last year's American Rescue Plan Act and other recent legislation. Even so, the only way to get the valuable benefits is to file a 2021 tax return. Often, individuals and families can get these extended tax benefits even if they have little or no income from a job, business, or other source. This means that many people who don't normally need to file a tax return should do so this year, even if they haven't been required to file in recent years. People can file a tax return even if they haven't yet received their letter. The IRS reminds people that there's no penalty for a refund claimed on a tax return filed after the regular April 20, 2022 tax deadline. So, you know, if you, if, you, if you were getting a refund, the IRS is not as worried about you filing late so that you could get the extension of time till October because of course that's basically kind of like giving a loan to the IRS and so they, they're not too upset about that. If they owe you money uh, in terms of a refund, I mean, I'm sorry, if you owe them money, then they're gonna be more upset about it, right? Then, then they want their money sooner and they're gonna start hitting you with the penalties, with the interest. So the fastest and easiest way to get a refund is to file an accurate return electronically and choose direct deposit. I filed an accurate return and it didn't, well, it didn't, re didn't result in a refund for me. Is that the fastest way to get the refund? I don't, I, any case, whatever. To help people claim these benefits without charge, 
free file. There's a link to that here. will remain open for an extra month this year until November 17th, 2022. Available only at irs.gov forward slash free file. Free file enables people whose incomes are $73,000 or less to file a return online for free using brand name software. Free file is sponsored by the Free File Alliance. The Free File Alliance, a partnership between the IRS and the tax software industry. I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of curious in terms of how that partnership uh, works. But uh, <laughs> in any case, there's links to all of this in the description. There'll be a link to this uh, in the... No, there's links to all of this here. And there'll be a link to this in the description.